Stella, you want to eat? Want to eat? You want to eat? See, Stella knows that word. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. I'm giving a shout out to Abril, C.R. Barboni, and Michael C. Thank you all so much for your patronage and your continued support. It's 9 a.m. Hello, Stella. Good morning. And this morning I put some videos on for the cats. So they're watching birds and squirrels on the TV. Right, Simba? Good morning, Boo. They found their spider. They've been playing with one of the spider toys from Halloween. The cats are eating homemade food for breakfast. Eat your food, boo. You could do it. Come on. He was eating it fine until he took the camera out. Here. You want to eat here, boo? You eat there. Good morning, Hydrox. How are you? It's about 9.05 a.m. I just came outside and I gave Hydrox some raw food with a bunch of water in it. It looked like Hydrox was sleeping. So, hopefully he'll go over and he'll eat some of the food. We'll see. If the bowl's empty, I'll know he ate it. It's 9.18 a.m. and Hydrox was hanging out on the mat by the back door, but he heard me approach the door, so he just got up. He stretched. Hey, Hydrax, come back over here. Come back here. Come to the door here. Come back to the door. Come here. Nope, he's going the other way. Let's go to PetSmart and buy some crunchies for the cats. This looks good. It says grain-free, limited ingredients, made with fresh salmon. The back says seven key ingredients, but look, canola oil is one of the seven key ingredients. I won't buy it. Then I found this wholehearted, grain-free food for cats chicken recipe. That looks good. Let's check that out. And let's look at the ingredients. Chicken, chicken meal, peas, chickpeas, and pea flour. Chickpeas is the fourth ingredient. Won't buy it. What about this one? This one looks good. Look at these ingredients. Turkey, duck, potatoes, peas, alfalfa, and salmon oil. That looks really good. But let's take a look at the ingredients and see if there's anything in here that I'm not happy with. No soy, no wheat, no corn, no chickpeas, no canola oil. Looks pretty good to me. It is 7.57 p.m. right now. And I just got home a few minutes ago and there's Hydrox. I heard him meowing and then he jumped up here toward the back door, so. I see that he still has food from earlier today, so I'll give him some more. Maybe I'll give him some baby food. I don't know why he did not eat it. It is 9.15 p.m. and we just ended today's live stream and I want to give a shout out to Raccoon Man 60 for his $24.99 super chat. Thank you so much, Raccoon Man. And I want to give a shout out to Eva Lash for his $5 super chat. He says, thanks. Yeah, so we were just chatting on the live stream for a while. It was really, oh. I want to give a shout out to C.R. Barboni for the $10 super chat. He says, all love, light, and gratitude. We've been sitting here chatting away for, I don't know, an hour, maybe more than an hour. I learned so much tonight about so many things. So, um... 
If you have not done so already, please keep an eye out for the Lucky Ferrell's live streams and when you can, definitely join them. There's lots of great people in the chat room, always something interesting to chat about and lots of stuff to learn. And here's Stella. Stella saying, where's my dinner? It is 9.18 p.m. and I'm just about to walk downstairs and feed the cats their dinner and I look out the door and there's Hydrox. He's eating the food that I put out for him for breakfast. And this is the food that I gave to him for dinner. So he must be really hungry, but I don't know. Like I put the food out and he doesn't want to eat it right away. And then he like waits and then he eats it. So I'm going to feed the inside cats and then maybe I'll give him some more food. I don't know. It's really hard to tell whether he's hungry or not these days. I really think he's eating. Oh, so earlier today, when I um, was on my way to my office, I get in my car and who do I see in the woods? Hydrox running around and then he ran across the street like right in front of my car and then he ran through the yard. So um, yeah, Hydrox is still out hunting. Hello Simba. What are you doing Simba? So Simba really likes this round top also. But Stella's usually laying in it. But whenever Stella's not laying in it, then Simba uses it. Stella's laying on a kitchen chair right now. The cats are all really hungry. Stella, you want some food? Want dinner? Stella, you want to eat? Want to eat? You want to eat? See, Stella knows that word. You want to eat some dinner? Want to eat some food? Want food? Dinner? Dinner food? Food dinner? Since Hydrox is in the mood to eat some food, I just gave him a whole jar of baby food along with the supplement mixture that I made for him. I put that in there and um, hopefully he'll eat all that. Yeah, he's eating it really fast. Maybe he knows that tomorrow is supposed to be really bad weather. Like, we're supposed to get horrible rain tomorrow, so I wonder if he kind of knows that and he's just like eating in preparation for that. Look at that. He practically finished everything. Maybe I'll go put some more food together for him. I just gave Hydrox a whole other container of food. This is some more of the food from Germany, so I apologize for not knowing exactly what I'm feeding him. But um, I put it in a blender and I just gave it all to him. I added some water to it and made like a puree. And for some reason he is super hungry tonight. So he ate the food that I gave him for dinner, which was one of the homemade scoops of food with water. Then he ate what I gave him for breakfast, which was one of the homemade scoops with water. It might have actually been two homemade scoops with water. Then he ate the entire jar of baby food. And if he eats all of this, it will be like a full container of the other cat food. It's not in a can, it's in like some kind of pack. So, yeah. I don't want to give him too much, again, because I don't want him to puke. I just heard Hydrox meowing by the back door again, and look, he completely licked this bowl clean. This bowl is clean, and he also finished the food in these two bowls, so I'm going to give him some more food. Okay, so Hydrox was completely on the other side of the patio, and I was like, Hydrox, what are you doing? Go over there. And I motioned to the bowl, and I pointed at it, and he went straight for it. Like, so he's communicating a lot better with me. Now, here's what I did different. I did not puree the food that I just gave him. It's still in chunks. So we'll see if he eats it. If he doesn't eat it, I'll just give him maybe some other pureed food. We'll just give him a little time. He could still lick it up. For some reason, he's like so hungry right now. I haven't seen him this hungry in a long time. Is he going to go back to it? He could lick it. Let's see what he does. Hey, 
It's 10 o'clock and Hydrax came back and he's eating the food. Meanwhile, I just prepared another jar of baby food for him. But I'm going to wait until he moves away from the bowl before I bring it out to him. Because he's eating really good right now. I just mixed up a whole jar of baby food for Hydrox. And then I poured it out into his bowl outside. And I gave Boo the mixing bowl so he could lick it clean. And that's what he's doing. He's licking the bowl clean. It's like cake batter for cats. That's a love bite. That's a love bite. Thank you for watching this Lucky Earl's video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.